What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. It's Ron here. Hope you guys are doing very well. If you're brand new to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. And while you guys are at it, go ahead and smash that like button. I really would appreciate that. Well guys, in today's video, I want to share with you guys some different ways, unique ways of making money online, from making money from home. Uh, perhaps you can look at it as a remote work opportunity, kind of side hustle, uh, anything to increase our, our income during this time uh, as we embark upon a potential a potential recession for 2023. Uh, some economists are predicting an economic collapse. And of course, we have the housing market crash that many economists are predicting. Uh, whether that housing market turns out to be a crash that remains to be seen. Me personally, I think that, you know, because houses, real estate, because real estate is more of a, mm, for the most part, if you if we're talking residential real estate, people aren't just going to sell their house like they would sell a stock just because the stock price went down, right? So like, you know, when you have a stock market crash, we'll we will typically see that happen a lot faster than you'll than you'll see that in the stock in the housing market. And the reason being is because Everyone, not even everyone, a lot of people have stock trading apps like Webull, Robinhood, uh, M1 Finance on their phone, Fidelity, E-Trade, you name it, right? And the moment an investor gets scared, the moment a trader gets concerned, maybe they have a stop loss set at a particular technical uh, analysis um, data point, these people will trigger the sale of their stocks. This could be Apple stock, Tesla stock. Amazon stock, um, and so Microsoft stock. So it could, it, it could be any stock, really. Redfin stock, who, name, who, who, who knows? The simple fact of the matter is that with real estate, even though the Fed chair, Jerome Powell's raised interest rates and it has created a drastic slowdown in the housing market in terms of housing sales, this has not translated into a fire sale in terms of homes. Now, granted, you know, there's no longer a seller's market and it's quickly shifting over into being a buyer's market. But here's the thing. People still live in their homes. People are emotionally attached to their homes. And if homeowners and real estate investors are not in a situation where they're forced to sell, well, there's no reason to sell. You just kind of wait out the market. And if you look at the stock market, if you look at the housing market, long term, it always goes up. Now, I do want to share some information with you guys because a lot of people are asking, how do you make money online? How can I make some money online? Uh, can I make money online without any money? Do I need any experience? Are there any re remote job opportunities uh, in order to make some home uh, income from home? And maybe, you know, what are some home based business opportunities that could be potentially started? Now, I'm going to share some of those with you. But I did want to share something with you. I don't. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Chat GTP or Chat GPT. Well, basically, this is something that Microsoft is strongly considering making a rather large investment into. We're talking about a ten billion dollar investment by Microsoft into uh, what is cons currently being seen as a money losing project, and they're calling. This money losing project, the Chat GPT uh, parent. And so, if you own Microsoft shares, if you're considering investing in Microsoft, you might want to know about this. But the cool thing about this is whether Microsoft makes money off of the Chat GPT uh, investment or not, you and I could potentially leverage Chat GPT to make money online. And a lot of smart freelancers, whether they're on Fiverr, Upwork, uh, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, uh, even LinkedIn, they're leveraging the AI technology that's available on chat GPT to make money online. I'm going to share that with you guys in just a moment. Cool thing is it's free. So, um, But anyway, so it says here that the world expected terrible disruption in 2022 from inflation and federal and Federal Reserve interest rate hikes, a terrible year for stock market, global political turmoil, the war in Europe, and of course, the humanitarian crisis. But 2022 was also the year millions of people were introduced to the advanced capabilities of artificial intelligence via the controversial apps of DAL-E2 as well as ChatGPT. 
Now, this is where it gets real interesting here. So Microsoft is reportedly in talks to invest $10 billion into DAL. I don't even know if I'm saying this right. DAL, D-A-L-L-E-2, and the chat GPT's parent company, OpenAI. And Microsoft is already at the party. It says here that if you're a Microsoft shareholder, you've already likely have a stake in the DAL E2 and chat GPT. Microsoft reportedly led a $1 billion funding investment round into open AI back in 2019. Now, it's interesting. If Microsoft really digs deep and fully expands this, the capability of chat GPT, this could be a real game changer. Number one, it could potentially put some people out of work, but it could also create new money-making opportunities for a lot of people. Now, let's talk about the money-generating ideas and uh, leverage points that could be made off of this chat GPT as a side hustle, as a small business, as a home-based business. And this is this is really cool because a lot of people look at artificial intelligence and um, automation as a way to eliminate jobs. But if you look at it from a few different lenses, you could actually see how you can actually increase your income and potentially uh, create multiple streams of income by leveraging what this thing is capable of. So number one, you could generate content ideas. Now, if you go on Fiverr, if you go on Upwork, these different freelancing websites, you will find a number of different jobs anywhere from uh, let, let's 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 just take a script writer position. Right. So, like, let's just say you go on Fiverr, you go on Upwork and just scroll through, just type in script writer. You'd be surprised how many how much money script writers are making. Some of these guys are making one hundred dollars a script. $200 a script, $300, $500 a script, depends on the length of the script, the complexity of the topics. But anyway, you could log, you could go to chat GPT and generate content off of chat GPT. And I've kind of messed around with it for a little bit. And it's crazy what it can come up with. And you could literally piece together a script that could ultimately be sold leveraging platforms like Fiverr and uh, Upwork to sell a script to a would-be buyer, a potential client. And like I said, you know, you could sell that script from anywhere from $100 to $500. You just kind of like type in the topic and this chat GPT will literally, uh, you know, just kind of get to work. And it it puts together some pretty intelligent sentences. So I was really impressed with that. Um, you could also rewrite existing blog headlines, uh, leveraging the power of the chat GPT. So, you know, you, you might be asking, you know, well, how would I even get a client that would need me to do that? Well, there's millions of blogs out there. Um, most people have blogs with Google AdSense attached to them, generating income through that method, which is another way to make money online, uh, creating a blog and having Google AdSense and generating Google ad revenue on them. But in addition to that, you can uh, have affiliate links on your websites, on your blogs. Well, guess what? These blog owners always need new content. And so you can literally reach out to, um, you know, blog owners and say, hey, you know, um, you know, offer to improve their existing post headlines. Um, sometimes, you know, these blog, these bloggers, they'll post articles on their website and then new information comes out and it's like, Hey, there's an update, you know, this information you have on your website is no longer valid, uh, valid, you know, it's old. Maybe you need a quick update. Well, you can offer to rewrite existing blog post headlines and you can just kind of like go like chat, you know, go to chat GPT and say, you know, please rewrite this headline and make it more catchy. And you can type in the existing headline and have it have chat GPT rewrite the headline. And guess what? Views on a blog website equal money. So if you can get if you can get more views, more traffic to a blogger's website, they'll be willing to pay you handsomely to update their 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 uh the headlines on their existing articles especially and it works two ways 
Imagine you reach out to a blogger and they're not getting much traffic. Well, they know that they need more traffic, so they're willing to listen to you. But even if you reach out to a blogger that is getting a lot of traffic to their website and they are generating a lot of income from their Google AdSense revenue, maybe from their affiliate links, from their affiliate marketing campaigns that they're running on their websites through their articles, they would likely be interested in possibly getting more traffic. Maybe you can have uh, chat GPT create a more catchy SEO friendly title for this blogger and help them to get more search traffic from Google, um, the Google search engine, Yahoo, and any other search engine for that matter. So that is another way you could leverage chat GPT to generate income um, online. You could also you could also have it write some simple code for web tools and uh, you know uh, you can also use ChatGPT to create some calculators. There there's a lot of power behind this ChatGPT tool, and I'm only just now starting to explore some of its capabilities. Can you imagine? Have you ever have you ever been on a website like let's just say you go to Apple's website and you look up their you go to the, the page where the, uh, let's just say you went to Apple's website and you look at their Apple iPhone 14, uh, the iPhone 14 Pro or any of them, any any of the iPhone 14 models. When you read the description, all of the words that are on the page that are talking about this particular product, that's called copy. And that's what they call basically the words in marketing. Well, there's a copywriter that wrote that and Chances are that copyright that chances are that copywriter who wrote that is being paid handsomely. Well, you could have Chat GPT write ad copy for your sales pages or your emails, right? And uh, Chat GPT does it in a very, very uh, convincing way. Chat GPT is really blowing my mind in terms of what it's capable of and how quickly it does it. So I just wanted to give you guys a few ideas that you could leverage, that you could use. You know, you can leverage the power of Chat GPT and create some side hustle income, um, potentially even create a small business out of it, depending upon how many clients you're able to secure uh, and, and how often you can have your your book filled. Now, if you guys want more information on how to secure clients, how to market your business to other businesses or how to market your business to other um, consumers, maybe because not all businesses are consumer facing. Some businesses are, you know, they serve other businesses. And going forward, I mean, you guys are seeing some of the layoffs in different companies like, you know, Redfin, Walmart has announced layoffs, FedEx has announced layoffs, Amazon has announced layoffs. So what we're seeing here is a shift and we may, as we move forward, start considering having our businesses serve other businesses um, because businesses are going to survive. And if they have to lay off employees to help them free up their balance sheets and expand their their profit margins to do it, they're going to do it. So while the consumer may get weak, these businesses are going to remain around. So if you're if you're in a space where you're worried about, you know, the retail consumer not being there or if you're already seeing a decline in your business, you may strongly start considering uh, offering or maneuvering your business into a space where you serve other businesses to ensure your own longevity and ability to continue to generate income. But anyway, I just want to share this message with you guys. If you guys got any value out of it, definitely drop a like for the video. <clears throat> and if you want to hear more content from me, if you have any specific questions, definitely drop me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys and I'll see you on the next one. Be safe.